anyway, then um, you, a lot of you have heard this before, but this is a song that I wrote uh, on this guitar, um, on my couch. So What's that? So you must use this boy. I don't see a thing. Oh yeah, I didn't write it on here. Oh, you really wrote on the back? Yeah. Yeah, it's more like you flip it over. It's a thank you or something like that. Yeah. But, no. Anyway, so uh, th so this is. This is a song I came up with, so I'm going to try to add something new to it tonight, so we'll see how it goes. Oh, yeah, yeah. We've got to add something new. So. Anyway, it goes like this. Uh.
When they take your health care, they give a tax cut to the rich. When they leave you standing with your family in a ditch. Maybe we be standing wearing nothing but a stitch. It's the one. Remember that feeling when you were rocking your guitar. Remember that feeling when you were rocking in your car. You know it always seems like you're just hanging on a star. singer for many, many years. You know what that really means is that I have this guy over here that is sitting on my left shoulder that kind of looks like Paul, no, Paul Stuckey and he says, play folk music, it's the music of the people. I got this guy over here on my right shoulder, the specter of Paul McCartney saying, play rock, people want to rock. So I've been living my life with a, what do you call that? Dissociative disorder of some kind of life. <laughs> so this, this is, this is for my right shoulder here. Downtown, all the boys turn around. She thinks she'll never lose. But it takes more to win than scoring. It's when the stakes get too high. She'll find the game won't last because she moved too fast. She'll never reach the sky. Losing to win, winning to lose. Everybody's got to choose. Who's got to choose? Seats are empty, the silence fills the stage. The lights lose their glare, heaven isn't there. A lonely heart has walked the grave. Losing to win, winning to lose. Everybody's got to choose, who's got to choose? Eastern sky trembles in reply, and we'll soon see the people. 
The gene pool is somewhat limited, <laughs> and, and so when a girl finds a guy that she really likes that she's not related to, uh, you know, they, they kind of get together. Now, don't laugh. Um, she's from Stark County. <laughs> Since 1852, my family lived there. And when my grandson had a girlfriend, I says, oh, do you realize you're going with your third cousin four times a year? Because when you've been in one place for a long time, you know, you just kind of get lots of people who you're related to. So this tells a little bit about, well, two, mainly two girls at the beginning who are going to get married. They finally found the loves of their lives. And so they're going to tell their, you know, dad all about it. And I'm going to do the... I'm the narrator, and I'm the dad, and then I'm a girl, and then I'm a mom. So I do lots of quick changes here. Do you have your hat? So where's my hat? <laughs> Where are the girls, by the way? They're the girls. The yes, the daughters. Oh, quick change. So, so this way you can tell what part I'm doing. <laughs> okay. Now, the only thing you have to have to play a dulcimer is music in your head and a good laugh and there ain't no do notes on a dulcimer you just play it and so somebody asked me you know what notes to play and I have no idea you just play it we're supposed to sing to that yes. <laughs> sorry okay. well, you know, there's no future here, so we're going to get on the train and leave for the big city, as many did in that time, and find our fortunes there. But, uh, as we say around Toto, the barbed wire telegraph gets around really quick, and so their best friend heard what was happening, 
And so she decided she would go over there and she would talk to the girls because she didn't want them to give up because they were really nice girls. And as she was going up through the uh, area, she um, heard one of them mournfully singing on the hillside. And this is what she heard. They say that love's a gentle thing. To me, it's only brought pain. For the only man I ever loved has left on the morning train. I never will. So they were really excited. They finally, they finally were going to marry. After all, they were kind of getting the old names. One was 16 and one was 17. And it was long, you know, they, it was long. They're, they're getting long in the tooth, as they say. They're just ready to get married. And so they went to their daddy, and this is what they said. Fine. 
family got smart and they went to the person that they should have gone with to start with, their mother. Oh, yes. Their mother. <laughs> and so, do you have something to sing to? Well, well I think we do. Yes, we do. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yes. <laughs> Here we go. Mother, oh dear mother, our poor hearts are Daughters, oh daughters, go ahead and take those vows. It ain't no sin, cause you ain't no kin to your happy and <laughs> Now I am the young lady. <laughs> reckless boy because we have to get this third girl married off right I mean she went through all that trouble going down you know across the holler and, and finding a boyfriend but this this was kind of a bad boy you know some of you girls go for bad boys they think you're going to reform them doesn't work and so um, if you were in the Ozarks this would be dear little buffalo boy but we're going to do the Appalachian way this would be dear little reckless boy because he, he was handsome and and he decided it was probably about time he got married. And so I'm wanting to know when this is going to happen because my other two friends are all set. I want to be set too. <laughs> when, we, when you go on a I 
didn't know you had no children. <laughs> children, children. I didn't know you had no children, my dear little reckless boy. Yes, I have five
silence around me is so loud I can't sleep When it's over then I will appear what I see when I close my eyes months ago, this song, and um, a little bit of the background is, um, so when he died, of course we had to sort through his things, I'm sure all of you, or some of you have had that experience of sorting through loved ones' things after they died, and so my grandpa made us these wooden boxes, and they're about this big, and so my mom and brother and I decided that we'd only keep what would fit in the box, um, so this one is called Box. <laughs>
Tudo 